Hey guys, this is Mr. Lowry. I just wanted to uh, do a quick video for you just to give you some feedback on some problems that I'm grading for this assignment, rotations and compositions of transformations. So um, when I'm looking at your assignments, I'm making sure that it's done, that you've actually completed it. You get seven points for that out of 10. And then I'm grading three problems. Um, the reason why I want to grade three of them is because I want to make sure that you guys are you know, trying your best to make sure you get the right answers and follow instructions and things like that. But also I want to be able to give you feedback so that you actually know whether you're doing it right or not, whether you got the right idea. So instead of like typing out you know, an explanation for some of these problems, I'm just going to give you a video of them so that if you get one of them wrong, I'm just going to say, hey, check out this link. You can look at the, the answers and you can learn from your mistakes. Okay, so one of the ones I'm grading here is number five. This is the first one that I, I graded. So I did this one with you guys and I did these ones with you. So this was one that I wanted you to do on your own. Okay, the important thing to note is that this is how you do 180 degrees um, rotation. You use a rule. Um, you, you could, you know, trace it and, and spin something like tracing paper. You could do that, but that's kind of hard. So instead of trying to do this visually, like we do with reflections, which are a little easier. We actually use a rule, and those rules we came up with up in the top corner, or the, the top section. So this is the rule we use for a 180 degree reflection. Whatever the original point R is, we change the signs, and that's gonna be our image. So I'm gonna write this out, E, F, G, and I'm gonna list my points. And let's just make sure, I, I've done this in the past where I make a mistake on what the actual point is, so let's just be real careful there. So negative one, negative three for E, Okay, F is going to be negative 1, positive 2. Okay, and then G is 1, 2, 3. And it looks like 3, negative 1. Okay, so we're going to use this rule to get the points of our image. And then we can just connect the dots and get our triangle. So what this means here, this doesn't necessarily mean that the, the points are going to end up negative. It just means that we're going to take the opposite of what they originally were, right? So if, if this is a negative 1, then this is going to be a negative, negative 1, right? Which is going to be a positive 1, okay? If, this is an, if the original point is a negative 3, then this is going to be a negative, negative 3 or a positive 3. So what these negative signs mean, they don't mean that your point's going to come out negative necessarily. They just mean do the opposite of what you had, okay? So negative 1, positive 2 is going to become positive 1, negative 2. And then positive 3, negative 1 is going to become negative 3, positive 1. Okay, and these are the points of my image. So let's graph them up. E prime is at 1, 3. Okay, F prime is at 1, negative 2. Okay, and then G prime is at negative 3, 1. Okay, we'll connect them up. And your image should look something like this. Okay, so rotations are kind of hard to do just visually. Like reflections are, are pretty easy to do. Rotations are a little bit harder, so we use these, these rules to help us out. Okay, so that's your first one. Okay, the next one I'm going to grade is I'm going to do this 90 degree rotation, which is number seven. Okay, the rule that we came up with this for a 90 degrees counterclockwise is this rule. Okay, take your point, x and y, whatever it is, you're going to swap the positions, and whatever the y was originally, it's going to be, we're going to take the opposite of it when we put it in the x position. Okay, so we're just going to use that rule to get the, the coordinates of our image, and then we're going to graph them. So let's go u, v, w, those are our original points, make sure we write them down correctly. So we got negative 3, 1 for u, v is at 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 4. And then w is at 2, 2. Okay, so we want u prime, v prime, w prime, the image of these points. Okay, the rule that we came up with in the first three problems says to switch the x and y coordinates, and <clears throat> whatever was the y coordinate originally, we're going to change the sign when we put it in the x position. Okay, so this y coordinate. We're going to change the sign of it and put it in the x position. The x coordinate we're going to put in the y position without changing its sign. Okay, for the next one, same thing. We're going to take the, the, the y coordinate of the original becomes the x coordinate of the image and we also change its sign. The x coordinate of the original becomes the y coordinate of the image. Okay, and then for w, the y coordinate uh, of the original becomes the x coordinate of the image and we change its sign. 
uh, and then the x coordinate of the original becomes the y coordinate of the image. So those are our three points there. So we got negative one, negative three is u prime. Okay, we got negative four, positive one. One, two, three, four, positive one. That is v prime, or the image of v. And then we have negative two, positive two, which is w prime, or the image of w. Let's connect the dots. Make sure we have the right thing. Okay, cool. So yeah, it looks like this, this triangle just kind of went and kind of like turned around 90 degrees. So that's good. Okay, the next one I'm gonna grade is number 13. So let's take a look at that. Write a translation rule that will result in the same image as the composition of reflections from problem 11. Okay, so this is kind of like a twofer because number one, uh, I, I'm asking you to you know write a translation rule and then also you have to get this number 11 right. So let's do both of them and then we'll see what we got here. Okay, so reflections are pretty easy. We don't have to use like a, a rule as much. We can just kind of visualize it. So we want to reflect over x equals 2, which is a vertical line. Okay, and then after that, we're going to reflect over x equals negative 4, which is also a vertical line. Okay, this is a composition of reflections over parallel lines, which should give us a translation. Okay, let's check it out. So we're just going to use distances here. So this point is one image, or one unit away from the, the mirror or the line of reflection, so its image is one unit away. This one is one, two, three, four, so its image is one, two, three, four. This guy is one, two, three, four, so its image is one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the, the first image. Okay. So now, after we you know, connect the dots, we're going to do this again. We're going to do it over this guy, okay? And we'll see if hopefully we have enough room. Um, but we're going to reflect it over this one. Okay, so second reflection. So this guy is one, two away. Its image will be one, two away. This guy right here is one, two, three, four, five away. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four. Looks like we're off the charts a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay, and this guy is one, two, and then one, two. Okay, so we reflect it again. And there's our final image. Okay, something like that. Notice that if you kind of ignore the middle one, it looks like this is just a translation. It just, because it, it flips over, it's like backwards and it flips over again, right? So if we think about how far, let's just think about how far this point moved from beginning to end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 to the right. What about this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 to the right. And this guy? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 to the right. So any way you slice it, all the points move a distance of 12 to the right. Uh, sorry, that's to the left. <laughs> This is to the left. This is the original. This is the final. That's that's the left. So 12 to the left, sorry. Okay, so let's go back and let's look at 13 now. Write a translation rule that will result in the same image as the composition of reflections. Oops, sorry. Okay, so we basically are going 12 to the left. So I'm just going to write that down as like a um, reminder. Okay, so that means every point is going to, we're just going to change the x coordinate. We're going to take the x coordinate and we're going to subtract 12 from it because that will go to the left and the y coordinate doesn't change. Okay, so key concept, important idea, when you reflect, when you do a composition of reflections over parallel lines, when the lines are parallel, you basically just get a, tra a translation. Okay, because it flips over and then it flips over again. So if those lines are parallel, when you're double reflecting, you basically get a translation. Okay, so that's it. Hopefully that will help. I'm going to grade number 5, 7, and 13. So if you miss one of those, you'll, you'll lose a you know, point. But um, you can go back and figure out you know, where you went wrong, and hopefully that's a good learning experience for you.